Ho, ho, thanks Kim, um, for subscribing again. 29 months. Appreciate you. Hello, everyone. Good says. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. This is the Homebrew Campaign. At the moment, aka the Holy Cleanse. This is Advanced Dungeons and Dragons 2.69 edition. So that's second edition AD and D with quite a lot of homebrew rules. I've just added another one tonight. Um, like I said, episode 54, so we're more than half a century in. Uh, we are on quest to find the gold road, and you'll hear more about that soon throughout the game. I'll introduce my players for you. Um, you'll see them on your screen. Top left is Trevor, who plays Andy McCarr. Say hello, Trev, mate. Hello. Uh, next to Trevor, we have Tammy playing Kiara, aka Kiara Jenkins. Let's go. Uh, next on screen we have David, who's done a little green screen work for us, uh, playing Stinky Nook. Help! <laughs> David putting in the work on that green screen for the new layout, I appreciate you. And on the right, the fearless leader, Daryl Great Axe, that is the, the man himself, Peter. Good evening, Peter. Hello. How many days to court just before we crack on so I know where we are in the timeline? 30 days left yeah. before we have to begin. Oh, I thought it was 32. It's only 30. Yeah, the days to court. Right, okay. Sorry, guys. Take it away. Sheet. <clears throat> now, were we in initiative order at the very end of the last game? Oh, God, surely not. No, there, were, was oh, with... there was one round where there was the initiative just for... Sneaky nook and for whatever it was, yes. Whatever it was, and sneaky nook won initiative, which meant he got up the rope first, and the critter looks like it's climbing the rope too. Okay. Um, so we're not in an in initiative order. Sneaky nook made it up the rope, yeah. But the thing is, trying to climb the rope behind him. Oh yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, uh, in two seconds, I'll be back in one moment. I just need to adjust my light. I think it's too bright. Yes, that's better. Okay, so, you're up, but the, the door is still open, right? Oh, yes, the trap door is open. The, the rope of climbing is still in the corner, and I've just shinned up it. I feel like the thing was off a little bit. Okay, so what are you doing then, guys? The, uh, the, the ghoul or whatever it is that's down the rope, it's not able to climb the rope. Can we it's tip some holy water climbing. on this, I wonder? Surely it's a rope of climbing. Well, it's a so rope. It could... mm. You make a point, Peter, right? Can an undead creature like a ghoul climb a rope of climbing? And what rule book, where are we checking that? <laughs> I would have thought a ghoul would be able to. They're quite agile, aren't they? Well, it seems that you guys want to rule against yourselves. Let's say it can climb up then. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Um, well, it, it, they, they, they're terribly cunning ghouls, unfortunately. <laughs> right, okay. I was going to play it as dumb and it can't get up it, but you know better than me. It can, so it is trying to climb up the rope. So how do you want to respond to that? What? Well, I I think Hogrim will want to get a, a bottle of holy water out and tip it on it. And as things are happening, let's see that... I, uh, I think we're rolling initiative. Well, yeah. let's say just before you do that, another couple of them appear at the base of the rope. At least another couple. Oh, joy. I get short time. Now, we are going to have to roll initiative, which is going to be difficult for me. I don't know how I do it on two different maps. So you just... don't. That's it. You just let us pass. It's too hard. Leave it. So well, no. ju just this create. Is the the... This is opening to the gold road. Ta -da. I... No, I know what it. I do. I know what I do. I pull one of the tokens up from the other map, don't I, David? And just buy yeah, it. Yeah, yep. And they, they just create multiple entries for the for the different things, yes. and then as they appear, if they appear, um, they appear. Yeah. Okay. So bear with me a moment then. Uh, players and viewers, I'm going to grab some things from another map. So I've got a character sheet up for that thing. I've rolled an issue for it. 
feel uh-huh. free to discuss what your role initiative for while you're doing it, guys, for me and for the viewers. So, well, sneak, uh, sneaking, I, up was, right, sneaking up was going on his initiative. Fargrim and Olgrim were around... They, we'd said last time that they were around the trapdoor, so... Um, I think those three are on the edge, but Schninking up looks to be stepping away from the edge. <laughs> okay, well... Oh, in that case, I will roll for the axe. Well, we're going to have to think about it, because if Schninking looks there, then... All right, now I'm gra grabbing Fargrim. If Schninking looks there, we've got to consider that the ghoul's one five-foot square, then this dwarf's one, and then this dwarf's one. So picture this, like... This is a this is a three by three, right? Three squares by three squares. This room, okay. So realistically, ah, uh, right, only three squares. Yeah. Well, let me measure out to just to be sure. But I I, I I see this as being more like. Well, nah, four squares. Okay, four squares. So, yeah, it's twenty feet. At least, so you've got four squares. So, apologies, guys. You can be lined up four in a line, so like that, for example, Daro, you could be there, yeah, or behind Stinky Nook there. See what I mean? So, so Daro is ready to. I'm going to roll for the axe. Okay. Because Darrow can see Sneaky Nook coming out, heading out, okay. which looks like there'll be space. And right. if there proves not to be space, then I've got the hammer as a fullback. Okay, and Tammy, just to be clear, if you were asking what's happening, is this ghoul, that this is what the guys are saying, they think it is anyway, this undead creature is trying to climb up because the rope of climbing is still extended down into the... The basement level. I cannot just stick it up. So this thing's trying to climb. Well, you p potentially can. So consider that when you're deciding what you're doing on your initiative. Well, the problem is, I came up last round, and it started coming up after me last round. So it's on the so, rope. Uh, it's on the rope. Snakey looks up. It's halfway up the rope. But it's your rope of climbing, I'm, am I right, Tammy? It's, Ki it's Kiara's but, item. Yeah. It is Kiara's rope, yes. Be very kind yeah. it to it. But you can all use it, yeah. You can all command it. Well, if we just whipped it straight up, I wouldn't be expecting that to happen, so we might get a surprise on it. And then it means that only one of them's coming up and we're not leaving it down there for the rest of them to climb up to. And then we could just Agreed. leather the ship out of them. Question, everybody can command it, even though it's Tammy's item, or Kiara's item, sorry, even though it's Kiara's I item, so. someone else could command it without it having to attune to them or whatever, eh? I'm pretty sure. Yes, rope of climbing, it normally just has an activation word. Yeah, it'll just be a word. Yeah. What's your word, Tammy? Steph? Ah, <laughs> no. That's what the rope does. Nah, that's too normal, because people would think to use that, we'd have to come up with a better word. Okay, yeah. Well, it's whatever Bad the mage who created... It's whatever the mage who created it made the magic Well, word. that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so okay. if we were creating it, it would oh. be something we could we could create out of character if we wanted, but it wouldn't be something related to Kara or anything like that, because the mage that made the rope would have done it, yeah. Have we got everybody on the tracker yet? Don't think so. Uh what are you oh, what, um, what are you thinking about doing with Kiara? Me? Yeah. A Sempar, sorry. You getting your sword out, nice. Yeah. I've not done melee for ages really. I've got the two dwarf NPCs in Eleanora, so it looks like I've got Daro. Uh, I've got oh wait, Sam. I need to go for Shaza. I need... I think I just need and my car, Trevor, mate. No, he's on the list. Is he? I oh, yes, to, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's got a bottle, of, bottle to, of holy water. I need to do Charlemagne. That's my bad. Uh, you rolled with a, uh, the holy water as the weapon, nice. Yeah. Let's see them in action. Um, I could, they changed it to the Holy Cleanse for a reason, because all oh, that holy water and no turn undead. It's going to get you wet. Knew what was... Oh my god, this was your plan the whole time, because you changed the name ages ago. 
And then you made us get all that holy water. It's you guys. The holy water was you guys' plan because you don't have the turn undead cleric ability. That's why you got all those holy water. Because they, they knew what was coming. And more I forced light. it on them. We knew what was coming. Oh, If anything, this it's because so of the clever players who were like, right, well, what can we do to... A scroller. Oh, my mouse doesn't work and it's the grimace. I think that's everybody. I was expecting more, but we don't have any more, do we? Because it's just, I'm only rolling for one monster at a time. Okay, so this is the one that's halfway up the rope. So, if we're going to uh, ascend in order, at the top of the round of combat, it is Eleonora. What's she, what's she rolled initiative for? I rolled initiative for the staff. Yep. But... I'm unconvinced that it's high enough on the rope for her to be able to hit it yeah. over because Fargrim's al head. Although she is, can normally, normally she could with a with a, the longer weapon, the quarterstaff, but it's halfway down the rope, no. I'd say that in melee combat, only old Grim so, Slink and Fargrim are going to be able to attack it, yeah, in melee. No, so yeah. she's holding action okay. in expectation it will get high enough for her to have something to aim at. All right, if it gets any higher at the end of the round, she can have an attack on it. Okay, Stinkinook, I see you've rolled once only. What have you rolled initiative for? Uh, well, I was just... I, 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 I'm I using my uh, my rapier, but... Uh, Do you want a second attack I, for your other sword? I, 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 well, I can't, because I, I was climbing the rope. So, right. and yeah, I'm, yeah, swapping, yeah. I'm swapping positions with Darrow. Aye, so you've only got the one. Okay, so you're using your rapier on this thing. It's halfway down the rope. No, but I like no, oh. I'm, I'm I'm swapping positions with Darren. Oh right, okay. So you're using your movement only. He's running yep. away. Brave no, I'm, te I'm tactically getting Darrow to 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 use his yeah. mighty axe. So you're moving to there. You can't move to Darrow's space because he can only move on his turn. You have to move to an empty space. So I presume they are next to Darrow, or would you go there next to Darrow? Well, Darrow and I are going almost simultaneously, so I am swapping places with Darrow. Right, potentially, yeah. But for the for, okay, for I now, move to there. He, 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 yeah. he moves forward, and I I, I step behind him. Yeah, if, if only you had a bard to sing about your bravery. Okay, but it's, <laughs> it's 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 two movements in a round though, so I'll only I'll only let you have the second half of the movement because I don't allow two movements in a round. I'll, I'll let you have the second half gone, of the movement. I've already gone ten foot. Ah, it doesn't matter. I'll let you have the second half of it right at the end of the round then, because I'm late, being generous letting you have it. You don't normally have that. You don't swap places in combat. That's you being cheeky. But that's fine, okay. you, you can move. And Daru is you next. Snakinook has made way for you. So I'll be able to step in and chop at the critter. Mm-hmm. I better not roll the one. <laughs> roll that one! <laughs> Drop your axe! Drop the axe down the hole. And down the hole. No, that Left the what axe. I was thinking would happen on the one. Oh, come on, please. You definitely, it's definitely going down the hole if you roll the one. And it would probably kill one of the things at the bottom. It might still kill something underneath it, yeah. It's a pretty heavy axe, like. Ten foot down. So the ghoul is probably at floor level at the moment. Because it's ten foot to the floor. It was five foot. It's, oh, sorry, it's, assuming you would go, it's, whatever it's it is. It's halfway up, so... So it's, it's two foot down below. Right, that definitely below hits it. So you roll... Do you want to roll Holy a percentile 25% or under, or do you want to use the 1d4 for your lightning damage, for your lightning charge? The... Oh, I can see the percentile now. Okay, so that's that, not... That's 25 or under. No, but you have a hit on this thing. So then does it just do regular damage? Yeah, but I'm going to get a, give it a save to let go of the rope as well, I think. Don't know what it's going to be a save against, but it's going to make a save. If it feels it's going to let go of the rope. Ooh, 10 damage. Oh, yeah, I... oh yes. Yeah, no, that's right. Well, do you know what? It does let go of the rope because it had less than 10 hit points. So it does drop... A nice one. <laughs> so... Uh, your rope climbing remains in place. This undead monster, this monstrosity, drops off and hits the floor of the the basement level that's below you, and it's Fargrim's turn. 
Vai stalo? Ja, da war so so shall all unclean creatures die. I've moved that over. Uh, well, if, I, I would think it's dead. I would guess it's too far down to hit one of the t two below on the head, isn't it? With my maul. Uh, You'll have yeah, you're flagging with the maul. Yes, it is. Well, I'll wait for one to come up then. Okay. You pull the rope up, you fucking idiot. And the Vakar. I like it, I like it. Hey, listen. When I was thinking about things to do in this battle, I almost had both these dwarves just jump down. Ah! Adventure! And just cause all sorts of problems nope. for you guys. Well, if we let them come up, Kiara, one at a time, we're going to have to kill them sooner or later. Uh, My bloody rope, though. Trevor, it's Adam Vakar, mate. Yeah. So... Uh, I can't get close enough. No, to, uh, do the spaces much, are so. occupied. Yeah, so uh, the, but, there's people standing all but, around the hole, and I can't see it because it's down the hole. What you could do? Now that I shouldn't be suggesting yes. this, is you could, and I'm not talking about throwing a holy water. I'm talking about yes. just lobbing one down the hole. Just lob it. Well, I could. Do I? Well, I suppose I know it's at the bottom of the uh, mm. rope, don't I? Because it's fallen down. We test note this grenade thing, though. So if I, so if I step forward next to uh, Charlemagne, just to give my myself a better angle, yep. and just kind of and I'll try call, and lob I'll call it, it down next feet. to where I'll the give, rope was. I'll give you no extra penalties. I'll call it ten feet. If you can lob one down towards the rope at your normal attack roll for that thing, I'll give it a go. Then I'll say it hits the next one that's grabbing the bottom of the rope. And we will say there was two at the bottom the of the rope. Water. One of them might have been knocked out of the way by the one that fell, but at least another one is still there right at the bottom of the rope. So if you roll a hit on this, let's say that this splashes right directly on the head of one of the ones that's it down there. Oh. <laughs> right. I think so, I'll probably hit a darrow on the back of the head with some holy water. No. Uh, roll me... How, tell you what, how many... Holy waters have you got in your possession? Are you holding in your possession right now? Uh, I have. Also, you've got to roll me a 1d4 and try not to get a 1 and make it really, really bad. But I, uh, <clears throat> I, got, I must have a list here somewhere. Um, so the crit, the crit house rule, remember, you've got to roll your, your 1d4 and hopefully not get a 1 and this is really you disastrous. Got to roll the 1d10. Oh yeah, 1d10, sorry, 1d10. Because he's a fighter mage, yeah. Okay, so it's still just it's. I, I want to know how many you are holding, how many holy waters you're holding, though, because I want to give you some sort of penalty here. Well, I'm not sure I'm holding them. They'll be tucked into a pouch. In your pouch, yeah. Uh, I think I have. I have four, including the one that I've just locked unsuccessfully. Four, four, including that one. So you definitely lost that one. Roll one d four, and when you were pulling that out, the other ones went shooting out the bag, and you've lost. Then they've smashed. This is for your crit fail. Well, that's surely what happens if he rolls a one. He did roll a one. He did roll ten. I know that would be. Then it would be even even worse. I've still got to have some flavour on the crit fails. You get double damage on your crit hits. I want some flavour on the crit fail. Did he roll one? Like... He rolled a one. Yeah. But if well, he rolls one d four, then it's only that one he's wasted. If he rolls one on the one d four, so it's not any worse. He's got a chance of not losing well, any more. Well, I've rolled two. You rolled two, so you lose that one and another one. Okay. So I'll when you when you were pulling it out of the pouch to launch it, you've accidentally pulled another one out, and it's just went splash on the ground next to you. Okay, that was your so much for my amazing dexterity. Okay. All right. Now that thing's dead, so I'm going to say the one uh, that's not knocked off below it tries to climb up. It can use its whole movement to get up, but there's no way for it to go. So it's going to hang on with one hand. And it can have its claw and its bite attack at a minus two each. Does that sound a fair ruling? Is that like what I did before? That sounds okay. That's right, okay. Well, can, can Fargrim hit it as it's coming up? Because he was waiting. Aye, at the end of the round. If he's held his action, he can attack it at the end of the round if it's still there. It's not like when... It's not like 5th edition that your held action goes off under a condition. It's, it goes off at the end of the round. Um, so... I need his character sheet, give me one sec. He's going to make one claw attack at Fargrim. I'm just going to go clockwise. At minus two. Did 
that doesn't hit him, right? Argrim is AC zero. Okay, and he's going to make his bite attack at minus two as well. Oh. Um. Roll the two. <laughs> so no hits. Wow. Why is Kiara seven? Not in the turn order. Oh, I don't know. Maybe the pressure token. I'm saying we're going. How bad did I roll? I'm fucking desperate for my a, turn. Did you roll a seven? Did you hang her. on? My Almost God. Yeah. You should have already been uh, then, so. I've done 11. Sorry, that's m my bad. What did you roll? Ah, you did roll a seven. I remember seeing it actually, yeah. Seven tar, three yeah. plus four. Right, okay, I'll add it in. Um, Is it, I, I don't mind going to the end now. Like, I've missed what we did that and there's too many things gone so okay. i'll just take my turn the go end, at the end of the round then okay but it's still in order that's, that's need more attention i wasn't looking at the, the ticker i think okay so um he's dead i want to move him out the way and i'm going to pull another one up but we have to remember minus one downstairs okay because i've got to go down when we go down if we do go down i've got to take minus one ghoul off the map so let me make a note of that. Minus one, cool. All right. So this one's up now. Um, but he missed with his attacks. Charlemagne is up, and Charlemagne is behind Fargrim, unfortunately. Oh, we've let uh, we've let the bear attack over dwarfs before, haven't we? But this uh, is this thing up the rope here, or is it still like? It's on the rope. It just can't come off the rope because there's no mo no room for it to stand. So it's, it's, at, well, it's at your he, level, it's at eye level, but it's still on the rope. It's got, so it's got he like could, one foot on the edge of the trap. He could potentially swipe for it then. Aye, we've given the bear attacks over the top of a, a shorter character like a dwarf before, haven't we, guys? Mm -hmm. Pretty minus, sure, if he was to stand on his back leg. Minus two. Give him a minus two on it then. That seems to a be minus the, two. Yeah, it seems to be fair to stick some penalty on it, eh? Do you agree, guys? Well, he can probably get his his two claws in, but I'm not sure he could get his bite in. No, I believe that's a hit, Tommy. Aye, it is. You can roll damage. Nice. Uh, small. It's a medium creature. Small medium. Yeah. Five nice. damage. Serious. Okay. Uh, and I believe Charlemagne has two more attacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just do them all at the same time, so go ahead. Just do the attack, attack both at minus two. Minus two for all his attacks, yeah. So in is fact, he getting the bite? In fact, no. I was about to say that, Peter. Let's give him his, only get the other one give him his paw attacks and not the bite. Because he's got the reach, that's why I'm giving him it. He's he's not got as much reach on the bite, so... He's got he didn't hit this second time anyway. He that time, okay. It is uh, the younger brother, I think, he's the younger brother, Olgrim. Right, yes. Trevor. Uh, he has got his holy water sprinkler. Cocked and ready. And has he got that in his main hand? Um, That would be, yeah, that's in be his main hand, won't it? Well, I, th I thought he had it in his off hand generally. you had it in the off hand. Generally oh, right, it does, got... but if he's only rolled one initiative, then you've put it in his good hand. So you don't have off hand penalties. Yeah, I, well, yes, I didn't add a second uh, attack on, did I? You didn't add the second one on. If you've so not I, two I attacks, you've has... not added on the speed for that on a first attack, then you've only got one attack and you've put that into his main hand. That's what you've done. Right, uh, well, well, we can change it next time, but he was he was just hoping to get a so swing on this thing. I don't, so I don't he's... think he's ambidextrous. I think he's ambidextrous anyway, isn't he? Go and have a quick look at his character sheet. I don't think it makes yes, a difference. He attacks with two. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't make a difference, actually. What I can do? I don't think he's got. Um, let's have a look. Well, hang on. No, no, no. He's got a. He's got a minus to hit. But is that because he's non-proficient? Not proficient with it. Yeah. Uh... I was going to say I can add in the second attack if you want, but we'll just we'll remember next round and we'll give him his two attacks next round. Just take one attack with the the holy water sprinkler for now. We'll yeah. Fix it so I don't know whether he's because um, he's hitting at minus one according to the adjustment so i don't know whether that's because he's un non proficient he's non proficient and it's a flail plus one isn't it or is it just yeah. a flail um right so that you... makes sense let me is it a flail plus one i think it is 
Does he get any t bonuses for hitting it from above as it's coming up? Yeah, it's, it's at eye level. It just can't get off the rope because there's no space. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sorry. Um, so I forgot what I was going to say. There, it doesn't matter anyway. AC five. Hi. Is it, is it a flail plus one? Does it say that anywhere on the character sheet? Because we try to work out that he's got minus one and not minus two for non proficiency. Uh. So it hasn't got any damage ad adjust. So it should I be. I don't think it was a magic. I think it was just a, a standard. A flail, flail yeah, it's mechanically w. built into it, yeah. So it should yeah. be minus two his attack on that, Trevor. It should be built into the sheet. It should have a, a standard Thaco, but minus two on attack with that if he's not proficient. Right, yes, I don't know. No, 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 no. Sorry, I was about to say it was strength, but strength appears somewhere else. Strength's on a different yes. line, it's calculated in already, yeah. Yeah. Don't know, because he's. he's... Minus two with holy water, of course. So uh, that's the non deficiency. So yeah, it should be yeah, minus I don't, two. I don't, it doesn't say it's got any pluses. Yeah. So. Change that to minus two on the sheet then, if you don't mind, mate. Right. Oh. Uh, so that would be armor class six that he hit. Ooh. I check that. These things are armor class six. You can give me some damage then. Now you've got the initial damage roll first. Okay. Here we go. Uh, got him selected, and it's smaller than it's man size, isn't it? These things, yeah. yeah. Hey, oh, yes. Nice. And roll the the holy water damage now on the first strike. It's one d eight, and then it goes down one d six, one d four. So roll one d eight. Oh, so you do eight damage and four burning acid damage from the holy water. I only had three hit points, mate, so you've totally mm -hmm. overkilled it, ripped it open and cauterized the wound with holy water, basically. Um, so what's left of it falls off the rope, splashes to the floor, knocks another one out of the way, but another one takes its place. Oh, uh, Fogham looks mm -hmm. up a lot more hope. Now, we've, we've got held actions. Kara, you held your action, so you're fastest in the initiative and you're held, so you could do it. No, Eleanor was faster. Oh, Eleanor was faster than you. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. I didn't, I didn't hold my action. We missed my turn. Yeah, but we can see, we can change that to a hold action so you don't lose a turn completely. Or you could no. just let me go first and they held the held actions that's since I wouldn't have doing, yeah. Well, we could Eleanor actually, yeah, Eleanor that's a good point. Should, we did we did miss our turn, so. And Eleanor is doing nothing anyway, you say, so yeah, there you go. You are first anyway. It doesn't matter because I can't do what I wanted to do, which would have been just to shout and pull it up. But, but you can do that. You can shout it. Yeah, no. It. But they've all started coming up now. No, but it's just a command word. Yeah. You, you just knocked the one that was on the rope off the rope. It's now your turn. There's not one currently on the rope. These things go on oh, their okay. turn. This was, oh, right. Well, what then I would just show the... Yeah, I would just show the... Well, presumably, you got a held action too, but her initiative was higher than it. Who? Eleonora? Yes. Yeah, I would show it to, show it to pull the rope up. Okay, so the rope shoots up. At the end of the round, when it's your turn, because we missed, we missed your turn by accident, so you can go first on the on the held actions. The rope, the magic rope, shoots up, um, and now it doesn't shoot straight to your hand; it just turns back to a coil. So who's catching it? Is it the front? We've got Olgrim, Darrow, and F and Fargrim. Who's got the best dexterity to try and catch it as it drops before oh, it goes back? Olgrim's got a spare yeah, hand, drops. doesn't he? I feel like Fargrim has a held action anyway, so he'll just kind of stick his uh, maul through the loop of the rope and pull it up. There you go. I'll take that. Fargrim has a held action. Mm. Fargrim catches it. No check involved. They can use his held action. Hmm. Looks down the hole. Still one there. Yes. Aye, there's none grabbing onto the rope, but there is certainly still at least one more down there. Right, now we can just fucking bomb it with some holy water. Where's that super soaker? Well, um, anybody else with held actions want to do anything at the end of the round one then, before we do? 
Yeah, we'll had him, as, I thought the combat was working quite well with their climbing up one at a time. I would say it's working quite well. Yeah, Fargrim thought so too, but... And the northern goes. Don't we need these climbing up? And, <laughs> uh, holds her action okay. until there's something to hit. Okay. Everybody is raising a piano there. Don't we nuke them from above? I was thinking that. It'd be quite easy to just drop yeah. the water grenades on them. The holy wash, it's shower time, baby. Uh, Kiara, it's your turn. Um, I'm going to move. I just... Nah, hold on. I'm just going to, like... I just think we need a plan, guys. I'm fucking sick of getting into these little underground shithole places on these missions and getting just attacked by shit like I, I, let's just have a plan like it just was stupid to me why I would just stand here fighting these things there could be 10 million of those things down there we would stand here and fight them all while they use were rope what if they managed to steal it no, the ropes or up there. anything I, but I'm rope. saying I know but I'm telling everybody that's why I think it was stupid standing here and attacking them I want us to have a plan before we go in there okay that's 10 seconds of speech. And, Are you doing anything and else? Let's, let's super soak our, the bastards. Okay. Daryl, your turn. <laughs> Nothing to hit, so waiting. Holding. Fargrim. Uh, not a lot I can do until it starts climbing the walls, but I'm hopeful it will. Snakey Nick. He's got a super soaker. Uh, we don't have a super you don't have a super soaker, you don't have a gun, but you have the, yes, the, we, the sprinkler, you know you've got the holy water sprinkler, yeah. all Grim has that. Right, Suggesting okay. to Darrow that I, I move in after he's uh, he steps back oh, and I move I'm in good. and I can shoot it. So speech and a held action. Yep. And the back car. Um, there's not much I can do because even though I can reach past with my spear, it's not at a level that I can reach at, so I shall just have to hold action. There's nothing there. There's a dead one at the bottom. You, you can dunk the head of your spear in that holy water on the ground. You could jump in the water. Holy mud now. <laughs> uh, so, whoever, Ogrim, Daru, Fargrim, you can all see the ones scratching around the bottom. They can't or don't comprehend climbing the wall, and they're just like like this, like zo zombie intelligence, they're not uh, so cunning as you might have thought, these ghouls or whatever they are, they're not uh, climbing the walls, or the ones that are trying are not having any luck doing so. So you do have... How, how many are there now? Oh, at least... Mm, who's asking? Olgrim. At least four. Uh, yeah, Olgrim can see from where he's standing, can't he? Uh, there's at least four. But they can't get up. There's no stairs, no ladder, and they're not... Any ones that are trying to climb the wall are not finding themselves able to. We could throw a bear down. Darrow is... Waiting for his held initiative to come back because he knows what he's going to do. It's the bear's turn. Eh, uh, he's not going to do anything. He's got all his action. Jamie was just saying in chat on Twitch that she's like, "Oops, I've just paused combat." You could unpause it with with the bear if you wanted. Well, can he fit down the hole though? I fits down the hole. Charlemagne Jenkins. Oh no way. Nah, she's, she's too far away to jump in after him just now. Ah, so he's just told his action. My love for the bear stops me doing Jenkins shit with him. I'll do it if I'm at the front, but I don't like doing it with him. Oh, Grim. I remember taking him. Is Ogrim doing anything? Um, DM takes over and Ogrim jumps down the hole. <laughs> uh, the question, can, can he reach anything with his file or are they too far down? 
Nah, it's not got the, the reach. No, I didn't didn't think so. Um, I don't think he <laughs> makes much sense to jump in amongst four of them. That uh, that seems like bad odds. He's an experienced warrior. He's itching to go. He's itching to like, and I'm tempted to to just take over the those two NPCs for a moment and have them just go hero mode and jump in because that's the kind of guys they are. And you, you, that's, that's what all you, NPCs you, you do. have control they just over you have control over them in combat, but I have creative control over them as NPCs. Remember, so Fire Games got the fucking rope for Christ's sake. Uh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, so yes, uh, but he untangled it and 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 kind of was going to pass it back to to Kiara because he's coil, it's coiled. It's coiled and it's in his hand. He's got it. So he could he could um, activate it if he wanted to, but Olgrim's going to wait to see whether Fargrim activates the rope again. Okay, well we're at the end of the round. Who held the action first? Eleanor did. Who can't do anything? Next, then Kiara. I used the up token. Well, you've, you've still got, like, that was just talking in, in your held t- part of your town. It's now, now the end of your action. If you had something in range, you could attack it, but you don't. I move back. You can move. You can move now, yeah. Um, oh, hold on. Very ethnic, Matt. I say it's terrible. We're busy, like, uh... <clears throat> If you wanted to, I'm gonna move up. I move up here beside Charlemagne. No, there. you can move no, up there beside him. Uh, sorry. Why? Or, or, or there, there beside him. Oh, hang on. You can move up there beside him because it's four by four squares. You can go there beside him. That's not realistic to real life, though. Yes, look. People, oh. people don't move in squares. Yeah, it doesn't matter, but D and D characters do, and it's four. There's sixteen squares in there, four by four. It's twenty feet wide. Those pointless men moving there. I still can't do anything. Correct. Are we ready for Darrow's turn? Uh, uh, I believe Darrow is next. Yeah. Darrow swaps weapon for the returning hammer, Ooh, which like is that. a faster weapon. Yes, yeah, so I allow that. Correct. You know my homebrew rules right. inside out. Right, is this the end of the round? Or is Aye. it the next round? I've read the held actions. Right. This is the held actions. And Dad was on initiative eight, so it's him after Kiara moved. So you're gonna look through the hole and attack down. Now it's only ten feet even to the floor, so there's no penalty on the attack. Yeah. Um, Do I get a bonus for, for for attacking from higher ground? No, because of the awkwardness of having to throw it round the floor. Do you know what I mean? Do you understand what I mean? Okay. Like, you're going to have to, like, balance at an unusual angle or throw it round the f- Oh! That's not going to matter when you roll oh, that. Hey, hey, hey! Right, so that <laughs> is a hit very much. Would you like to roll your 1d... Four as well for because it was a critical hit. So doubles to and you ten, want, and you want a four. It doubles to ten. Aye, but you roll a one d four, and if you get a four, it triples to fifteen. Remember, of course. Roll one d four. Come on. You got one. Aww. I said four, so it's no. We're not. We're not saying it. Okay. So, double damage, 10 damage on one of the ones <coughs> down there, and one of them is minus 10, so I've got to make a note of that. Now, I'm going to have to switch to that map for a second, guys, just to like mark hit points and stuff, so bear with me. You won't be moving, you won't be going anywhere, I will. And viewers, you're coming with me. viewers we're gonna have a wee look at the gm layer here mm, when i find the thing make the opacity less so or more whatever it is so we can see them and now we're going to move some of them around because they were crawling around the rope 
Now we've got one uh, on minus 10 hit points, and as you can see, viewers, he has 10. So we'll kill him. So we have another dead one. Uh, and we need to move. I said there was at least four. We've got another dead one uh, as well, because I've got a minus one ghoul and one that's minus 10 hit points. So that was the other one that got killed and fell down. The other one's marked up on the map. In fact, have I got two dead ghouls up on your lair? Two dead up on our lair. Okay. So I, d I take one off the map here because I use the X's for counting the experience. Okay. So one of them is actually down here. So I'll copy paste him so that I know. I'll come back up. Remind me to delete one of those dead ghouls when I come back up, guys. Okay. Now I've got the rest of them scratching around. This is cool. The viewers can see me in the GM layer moving guys around here. I move the dead ones out of the way. Okay, I'm back on your layer. So Dara, your damage on that one is counted. Uh, and I'd say you can see it, you get a view of it, 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 it got destroyed. Then your magical hammer comes flying back up, lands in your hand. Another one gone. Another one. I need to remember to take one of these off. To go to GM layer again for a sec. No, I don't. Token layer. Okay. So, where were we? Fargrim, did he have a held action? He did. What's he doing? He did. Anything? Uh, Kiara, do you want me to put this rope down again? Right as well. Ooh, so All right. we're going to uh, command the power of the word is. Yep. Don't sleep again, Bruce. Let's be anyway. He's Okay, so the rope goes back down. Uh, any anybody else was held? Yeah, Sninky Nook, but he was waiting for Darrow to step back so he could take his place. Not happening. And, Darrow and uh, very successful. Olgrim, Olgrim held his action. Uh, yep. That mean he can start climbing to, down the rope now. He's at the end of the round, though. So anybody before him? All uh, right. Yeah. Can I have a quick look around the walls? Is there a way up onto this rampart that I can see? Which rampart? No, there's no rampart there. This is just a wall. Just a wall? Yeah. So yeah, I couldn't yeah. stand on yeah. top of it? No, 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 no. That's just a broken, crumbled wall of what used to be. So don't. that's not like a, a, a rampart like, like this was here when you were fighting the skeletons. No, that's not. This is just broken wall. Sorry. Plenty of toe holds if you wanted to climb. Very, very much so, yeah. So, are you doing anything for the stinky look? I think it's your turn. No, no, I, I, I was waiting. Okay. I'm having a look around to see if there's any way Darryl I can get didn't, a. Darryl a didn't move here. out your way, that's right. Okay, yeah, add him a car then, because you held. Um, yeah, there's still nothing that he can aim at. Okay, so another monster climbs up the rope. I'm going to have to sorry, go back down to the. The other map to pull one up. Sorry, guys. Just a moment. 
Ooh, and all grims waiting for it. Is that on initiative 11 it's coming up? Uh, well, these ones have got held actions as well, haven't they? Because these ones are at the bottom of the rope that... There's plenty at the bottom of the rope that couldn't do anything, and when a rope's dropped down and they've got held action, yeah, one of them's going to get a chance to go up. 100%. Suits us. Okay, so those who've got held actions after... Potentially. <laughs> after so... Have, uh, I, have I shot at it? Aye, I just need to get my GM... Overly... Like this. Like this holy water sprinkler and this warhammer. And me and my arrows. Copy him, and I'll delete him here. It's almost a song in that, me and my arrows. <laughs> and then I'm coming back to your map. Keep me and my hammer works as well. Me and my dart. Me and my bear. Yeah, he's on the token layer, isn't he? You see him. Yep. Just a bard and a bear. Sweet. Okay. So, this thing climbs up. Um, it's only a, a short climb, but I'm going to give it... Again, it's two of its three attacks with minus twos. All right? Just waiting for Peter to say you didn't do that last time or something. Or something. Sorry, that. sorry, my mind was wandering. What was that again? Saying it's coming up and it's, it's getting two up. of its three attacks at minus two. Yes, that's what you did last time. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Okay. And so this is on its held action, is it? Uh, yeah. Because they've got held action. So does that as well. mean it only gets one action? No, it gets its move and its attacks, just like you would. Monsters that have multiple attack attacks. Held action. Nah, nah, nah. Monster pers monsters with multiple attacks, I don't uh, split them up like I, I do yours in initiative. Just like the bear gets his three attacks. If the bear holds his action, he gets all three attacks. I've always okay, done that. So. But this thing's not getting three. It's getting two out of its three because it's using one hand to hold onto the rope again. And it's getting minus two have, as well. You should have poured holy water down the rope. Okay, and I attacked um, Fargrim last time, so it seems only right that I attacked Arrow this time. Hey, mate. Hey, Peter. Yeah. Hey, Only right, eh? Yeah. Yeah. AC of three doesn't hit you, does it? No, yeah. nothing like it. No. Excuse me, I've got a bit of gas. Or from the Coca-Cola. Um, I, with the second attack, I'm just going to attack uh, Daro again. So this is the bite this time. At minus two. Hey, that'll do it though. Critical, Critical hit. It needed a 20 to hit him. Alright, so I am going to roll it. It's 1d8 I use for monsters. And do I have to make a saving throw? Yeah, we'll find out what, uh, what yeah, it does in a moment. Roll, roll the critical hit, so I just want to see how much damage it does on you. Okay, so not uh, triple damage. It's going to be double damage on this. So this is just the, the, the damage first. So you take, oof, max roll, you take six standard damage, and then it is a save. Hang on, let me uh, check. Uh, uh, uh. Touch oh, causes so humans, including dwarfs, uh, to become rigid, unless a saving throw versus paralyzation is successful. So save versus paralyzation. Make a save versus paralysation. Fun times. Oh, and it's 12 damage, not 6, because that was a critical hit. Sorry. It's on this bit to me there. No, no. Uh, oh, nice. So you made your save. You do not become paralysed. Uh, but yes, yeah, sorry. 12 damage, Peter. It was a critical hit. If you want to reduce Darrow's hit points accordingly. And Charlemagne now has a target. Charlemagne now has a target. If you want to make uh, the attacks for Charlemagne at minus two again, Tammy, go ahead. 
gone. We'll take a break after this round, guys, because I need the bathroom. I'll be checking in on the little mat. <clears throat> good timing for it. It's, it's after nine. It's all good. Yeah, he was getting his half hour warning, like. Aye. We'll, we'll Minus two, two, sorry. Minus two, yeah. So finish off these attacks and then we'll make, we'll make, make a break after the end of this. That hits, yeah. That does hit, yeah. You can give me some damage for that. Good luck. Two. Right, okay. Uh, so you have two more attacks. Well, one more. Can't get the bite over the dwarf. Oh, that's right. We're saying no bite. Yeah. We're, saying, we're saying the two. You've got the other claw. It's not, it's not, yeah, yeah, it's a fair one to be fair. And I'm going to say the bear hug. If, no, if, it, got, if it got no. the bear hug, it's not going to count either. And AC7 doesn't hit. So the second one's a miss. Yeah. So Charlemagne held, had held actions. Darrow didn't. You've done. You switched, so you don't have that second attack. Snake Nuke, that would have been your second. Uh, Olgrim, did he have? Did he hold his actions? He sorry, did. Sorry, I I held my action. You did hold your action. Yeah. Right, so okay, sorry, can Snake I next. get a shot between Olgrim and Darrow if I move sideways slightly? Eh, uh, there's no shot between them, but because you are directly behind them. I'd say you don't have to use a call shot. There's, sorry, saying there's no shot between them is incorrect. Like, yeah, you can get a shot in between them, like here. Yeah, 100%. There's no, you're not going to have to take a call shot or anything, sorry, to... Okay, I will take a shot. Yeah, you can get a shot. Sorry, you've got the bow, and you've got two shots. Ooh, uh, I thought only one counted. Have you, are you standing still? Yes. No, two. Yeah, you got all your attacks. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Just hope I don't. Good luck. Oh yeah, that hit. One second for damage. Minimum. Okay, uh, but you have both attacks, yeah. Second attack. Get another one. Hopefully, I hit in a bit more damage. Hope so. That's a hit. Yep. Ah, yeah, that's a bit better. That's better. Right, so this one is dead. Um, I need to put an X on him. So he's actually at the bottom. Both these ones that are that up here on the map are actually technically down there. But we've got the right number of Xs for the right number of dead ones. Uh, so he drops. So there's no target for your second shot. So Olgrim has no target for his melee weapons. So unless he's doing anything like a movement, and there's not got many places oh, yeah. to go he's, except he's down He's getting the hole. frustrated. He's getting frustrated. I think he's going to go down the rope. Oh, oh jump down. Yeah, he's going down the rope. It was, it was just about to hit the thing, and somebody shot it. Is that what you're doing? For, to, is that how we're going to end the round in the first Yeah, he's going session? to go down the rope. Yes, Trevor, I love it, mate. I love it. Right. Uh, I'm going to... I'll fix the map first, okay? Uh, so, Olgrim, I'm going to... I don't need to copy. I can just remove him from this map. And then... Right, I, I came off it now as well. Right, I just cool. commented, but I came off it. Cool, I see Just that. so you don't think I'm too in. I know, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. Right, so I'm going to quickly go to this map, pull a token down. Uh, oh, no, first I'm going to go GM layer uh, and get my guys. Pull them onto player layer because somebody's going to see these in a minute. So these go token layer. My viewers see this. Uh, and next we go 
tokens. Was it all grim or far grim? It was all grim, right? Yeah, it was all grim. Yep. Sweet. And I'm going to be generous and give him one of his attacks. So, uh, Trevor, there is a way to pull you to this map. David knows what it is. Do you know what? I'll just move you all to it. I'll just move you all to it. Fuck it. Let's, let's go. Right. So you should see it now. I'll shift ping you. Why does he only get one of his attacks? Because he climbed down a rope. Yeah, he wants to swing his holy water sprinkler again. Uh, uh, well, okay, Peter. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. From my ruling, yeah, but he consistent. used one hand to climb, so therefore he only gets the attack with the other hand. Same as the ghoul. Aye, just no, as, so as... the ghoul. The reason the ghoul missed o one attack Ogrim can is let go of the rope. The yeah, rope. Ogrim can let go of the rope. Peter is. I'm ruling with Peter on this one. Nice rules, lawyer in boys, both of you. Peter, I'm going with it this time. You're right. Okay, you can have both his attacks. Mm -hmm. So, I don't even know what's going on. Trevor, but I believe you're in charge, uh, to, uh, sheet yeah, wise. Yeah. Let's have some attacks first. Now, Trevor, and everybody else, because you can see it, this one here looks a bit different from the rest of them. It's a bit bigger and musclier, and its eyes are glowing bright. In fact, let me just get the description up for it, because I have got a description. Copy pasted it. Uh, it doesn't look like it's taken 10 points of damage, does it? He said, hopefully. Oh, no, sorry. This looks exactly the same as them, but it's clear that this is the one that the smell is coming from. Sorry. Let me, uh, let me correct. Let me go back a bit. Rewind, rewind. I might even cut it out on YouTube later. Uh, so this thing, it looks the same as the other ones, but then it's clear this is where the smell is coming from, this one. And it's face to face. Oh, well, it needs there. a bath with holy water. I'm going to use the holy water sprinkler on it. Well, you've that's your first attack anyway, isn't it? Is it your first attack? Well, that's how you rolled them, so yeah, yeah. That's how we it. rolled them, yeah. It's ambidextrous, so it doesn't matter, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's, let's go. go. Oh, yes. That's a hit. Uh, let's roll some damage. Uh, holy water sprinkler. Ugh. <laughs> and then we get another D6 of damage, I believe. And give me two seconds because because I moved the maps is initiative disappeared, but it was on seventeen and nineteen, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. Two seconds, just adjust that. So they're back, right? Okay, continue, Trevor. What, and then we get and then we get a D ten. She did. Oh, I know it. So it's three, it's D6. three from Five the weapon four. and so, two from yeah. the holy water. Three crushing damage from the flail. Yeah. Let's just, for the viewers and for anybody who's tuning in for the first time that doesn't know the holy water sprinkler. This is a flail, and then mechanically built into the head of the flail, there is an opening where we keep a glass bottle of holy water. And on the first smash, it does one d eight damage, one d six on the second, one d four on the third. So this is his second. So you've done what? One d six damage was two and three total. Five damage with the holy water sprinkler with the first attack. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Let's go in with a second attack. What another attack. Let's go. It's a nice way to with take a hammer. The break. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that will do. That's more like Eight it. Eight damage. Serious. This thing limps back. Doesn't You don't see any expression of pain in its face. It's just a physical blunt force trauma, the actual physics of a force hitting a force, it's got to go somewhere, it step recoils back, but it seems to go back straight for Olgrim, and that'll be the end of the round, end of the held actions at the end of the round, so we will start round three after our half time break, we'll take just now, alright, yeah? Okay. Sweet. We'll catch you back in five minutes, guys. Now... Now get the now get the cans out. I wish healthy apple juice that I'm having here. Rubbish! You had a can of cider, yeah, yeah. liar. Trevor's Trevor's um, crabbies made me remember I had this in the fridge. It's nice and chilled as well. Oh, I'm jealous. Right, fuckers. Who's ready for round three? Right. Oh. Ding ding ding! I've got you all on the map. You all see what's going on down here. So yeah, but. Uh only Daryl and 
Fargrim really know what's going on down here? Because you're at the edge. But there'll be space up front now. There's one space up front. Now, what does it look as if anyone else can get down the rope and get past old Grim? Well, right now, he... right now, <laughs> you would land on his head. And right. my daft brother gets out of the way. And you would have noticed he's right at the end of the initiative order. But if you met a game and think about that, when you think about what you're going to do. Well, at the moment, I've got the hammer in my hand. But do I roll the new initiative because I've got the hammer in my hand? So are we stuck now yeah. because he's he's. Yeah, if you if you're taking that as your main weapon now, yeah, let's have a new initiative for it. You've got a good roll anyway. Yeah, let's give you a new roll for it. Sorry, Tammy, what did you ask? Are we stuck now because he's at the end of the round, so he can't move until then? Unless you want to land on his head. That yeah, that's why I was I was just kind of half thinking out loud and making sure that's what was happening. <laughs> yeah, I don't want a bear on my head, thank you. Was that all well, good speaking? <laughs> he should have thought about that when he was the last in the initiative and jumped down the <laughs> hole. So I will roll the initiative, but I think you're likely to have to change the table by hand because um, cause I can't, can't click the yeah, Select your tokens. All right. Two seconds, guys. It's not a problem. I can just change you back onto this one until we've, we're all rolled up. It takes two seconds. There you go. So if anybody needs to change initiative, we're back on that map. Also, to see where everybody is and who's close to the edge. Well, since everybody now seems to be going down, this I'm changing back to my rapier again. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to change to my longsword since I'm not... I can't actually stab anyone at the moment, so I'll, uh, I'll switch to the longsword. Uh, I'm undead. I'm dead. Resistant. Uh, Hammer is brandishing his uh, hammer, so he doesn't look as if he's going down. Sorry, Tammy, again. What did you say? No, it's okay. Um, I was just asking: Is undead resistant to plus one weapons, magic weapons? No. Um, no. They still count. That, that kind of magic still counts. Yeah. Yeah, sick. Okay, I'm changing then. Oh for? no, shit! That's the wrong thing. Sorry, not that. Anyway, fuck my life. At the present moment, I've only drawn one one sword because I need the other hand to get down that rope. Okay. Unless I jump down onto Old oh, head. Well, it's for my plus one daggers. A plus one darts. Okay. What's the number anyway what your second attack would be in case we carry over into the next round? Me. Yeah, David. Six and... Uh, it would be another plus four, so it would be six and ten. Okay. So, yeah, just in case you carry, we carry that initiative over, you might as well do it now, do you know what I mean? And, okay. Sorry, Tammy, what were you saying? You're using your darts plus one? Yes. Nice. Uh, okay, did, did you roll? Yeah, you've rolled a four. Let me change you then. Sweet. Anybody else? I just just need to check. Um, well, Eleanor is in the jam. She's not going to. Eleanor has the space in front of her, actually. She's one of the people that could get down. She's got the space in front of her. The, uh, yeah, but if she with. sees Sneaky Nook looking as if he might go in, she's going to let Sneaky Nook in. Rather than take the space herself. All right. So what you have an initiative for, though, Peter? This is what I need to know, mate. You're very ambiguous. So she's, she's going doing. to remain with the same weapon. Okay. Thank you. Anyone else need to change? So, so, so if somehow a, a, a girl gets upstairs, she can hit it. Cool. Okay. I just need to know what weapon she's got initiative for. Whether she's jumping up, down, or. Hitting something up here, that depends on what happens at her turn and at her point in the round. I want to know what weapon she's using, that's fine, or if she's got a spell. Anybody else in? Everybody else is good. Right, so I'll keep you on the, this map and we'll just change down to it as we go down to someone that's down there. 
So, uh, oh, now I don't have initiatives for the things up here on this map, and I'm not gonna have you guys initiatives. I'm not gonna go. We're gonna have to move the initiatives down when we go down, and I don't have initiatives for the things. Thing was on an eleven. The ghoul was on an eleven. The ghouls were on an eleven, weren't they? Let me go back down to the other yep. map. I'm gonna have to roll an initiative for the other ones, and even maybe just write it down. So for the ghast, you need an yeah. initiative. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're meta gaming. We know it's a ghast. Okay. Uh, give me was just a second. Was I don't then. know. It was a ghast. Well, if you're meta gaming, you want to explain the difference between a ghoul and a ghast to Tommy then. Meta no, no. He's already. He's already doing it. So. Uh, I'll I'll do it then. So a ghast is a very much like a ghoul in appearance, Tammy, but it's just more powerful uh, and can do you a lot more damage okay. and hurt you in a lot worse ways. And it's got better. Like a meathead, though. No, it, it's not bigger or stronger or anything. It's got it's like supernatural powers are stronger. Um, oh, okay. And it smell, and that includes the smell. And they smell. The These smell. ones are the ones that okay. stink. That's so. That's why that was important. I get it. Okay. Uh, so oh. I need to have an initiative for it. I may have to like just write it down. Um, Did you know it's eleven? No, the other one's at eleven. This one's on nine. It'll probably have to get moved soon, but I'll write Two it down. So eleven and nine are my initiatives for ghouls and ghasts. Okay, I'll put that written down on paper in case we lose the initiative when we change maps. All right. Um, so. We are switching maps again, guys. One second. Kiara, you're first in the round. What are you doing? Um, Hold on, because I've just got a good point oh. on my back for a stretch. I'm All so right. sorry. It's okay, because oh. I just noticed that when I came up to this map, the initiative stayed for the gas. So if I go back down and put in the ghoul initiative, it's going to stay on the tracker. Okay. This gives me a chance to properly look at this. Sorry guys, I appreciate that. It was a good point, like, right, where am I? Let me see, what, sorry, my scroller on my mouse is not working right. either, and I just realized I'm how the other map anyway. Right, I'm back on you Okay, so you are here, behind the bear and the dwarf. Yeah. So, there's no point, I, I can't do anything really. Hold your action. Mm. Yeah, is it too much to say that I would have like squished through here to here? Uh, you've got no enemies up here, so squishing's not a problem actually. There's room to okay. get past your allies. Um, so whatever you want I'm to go up here actually, I would say is okay. So you want to move uh, to there? But, but can I just say yeah. we don't have Olgrim on the on the turn tracker? Do when I'm I see him. Maybe you guys don't see him. Because you're, you're on this map, maybe, maybe you don't see him. Maybe he's on the other layer. Yeah. Oh, maybe right. I see okay. both That's layers right. and you guys only see the layer you're on. But currently I see Olgrim. Uh, if I move, stream will see him. I, I can see him, so don't worry. I know his initiative. Okay. Right. Where were we? Tell me. Kiara, it's your turn. You just move moving. in. Just move in. You just move in. Okay. Oh, can I do more than that? Oh, well, well I can't do more than that, because Olgrim's down there. Olgrim is down there, but they're not Three all... Three dots down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did we say? A minus two we gave you on your throwing weapon when you were throwing down tre uh, Peter for uh, Darrow. If you, at minus two, you can throw uh, a dart no, down. No, what you did was you cancelled out the height advantage. Which would be minus two. Yes, so you've got... And the other would have a height advantage Aye. up there. So you've got a plus so two it's... minus two, basically, Tammy. You've got an awkward shot minus two, but you've got a height advantage plus two, so... Cancel so each other. It remains the same then. Yeah, 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 plus zero in the end. Okay. So yeah, you can have um, a shot. I'll switch maps real quick so you can see them. Uh, you probably, I, I might have to switch back for you. That. If I can see properly, and if you're thinking about the way that it would be pointing, and the one that would I would see directly in front of me would be the big one directly in front of. I don't Ogre, need to change maps to see to 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 not remember where okay. that is. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you're attacking that one. Then yeah. okay, okay. Make that it about a, right? And I can remember its armor class. So I don't need to move across. So make your attack right. then. Yeah. yeah. In fact, hang on, two seconds. Because you've got three attacks and I need to add two yeah, turns to your initiative. To What's okay. the speed of okay. your plus one okay. darts with all your bonuses? 
One second. I think it's zooming. one, Mike. One. Yeah, I think it was one. one, wasn't it? Two, one. Okay, so you've got another two attacks. Let me just pull them up. My days. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I fucked around before, but let's fucking. Okay, take your first attack then at the, at the ghast. You guys know it's a ghast. Nice. Uh, you dropped the three Fuck darts you were holding. Down. You, you dropped the three because you got the other two in your other hand ready to just go. Whoosh. You dropped the three darts uh, down the hole. In fact, let's say you drop one down the hole and give me the 1D. What does she roll? Because she's a thief class. It's a 1D8 she rolls. Yeah, roll. No, 1D6. Roll 1D6. Oh, I did know 1D8. Okay. Sorry. Roll me a 1D6 and you don't want a 1. Because this would make it an even worse crit fumble. Okay, that's Because I don't want a dart on my head, thank you. you don't, I've got a six. Okay, so you don't drop your other two. Although it's a fumble, let's say you drop your other two darts like you would in a standard fumble, but you don't drop them down the hole. But that one went down okay. the hole. Yeah? Yeah, that one's gone. So, okay. Standard fumble, no attacks with darts this round or next round. That one's down the hole, and your other ones are on the floor at your feet. Why two. does this happen to me every week? <laughs> I love every fumbles! It happened to me too. <laughs> I love fumbles! <laughs> happens to us all, mistress. Now, Andy McCarr's up. Oh. Right, now, Andy McCarr has rope use and tumbling as abilities. Can he squeeze through, grab hold of the rope, slide halfway down, yeah. kick off against the wall... And flip down onto the floor next to uh, Olgrim. Oh yes, absolutely. Give me a tumbling check, though, just so you roll it to make it. But oh yeah, I loved that. That was beautiful. Oh, <laughs> epical. Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. The goal failure. You had that beautiful cinematic description for what you were attempting to do. No, so you jump and you grab the rope and you swing and your hand lets go of the rope. <laughs> Let me have 1d6 fallen damage, please. Nice try. The for Ogrim. <laughs> well, who was doing it? It was it was Adam McCarr, yeah. Yes. Now, uh, I good, kick off and I just get splat on the floor, do I? Can I have a dexterity check for Ogrim, please? Good right, point. So let me find Beware more. of falling elves. Good point, Trevor. Good point. He's, Beware he's... of falling elves. He he has a dex of twelve. So if I just roll d twenty, under, yeah. Oh hey, yes. So he manages to just move out the way. Remind me when I change maps to move him five feet somewhere. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't have any more attacks. Stinky Duke, you're up. Well, there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a temptingly empty rope there. Uh, can I slip between Darrow and Kiara as she bends down to pick up her darts and, just, and grab the rope? Like I say, there's, there's, there's a few squares of space in here. There's no enemies in here. You can manoeuvre past each other at will. Okay, in that case, I, sh I, I, sh I shall move on and grab the rope and hang, hold myself ready to slide down as soon as there's space. Oh, okay. Well, there is, because... Oh, no, there's not, because... Yeah, I was going to say... Uh, Ogrim hasn't Ogrim moved. moved. Yeah, Ogrim moved, moved, Ogrim moved out of the way, but we've still got a, 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 a prone elf lying on the floor there, right enough. Oh, that's yeah. all right, I can land on him. Yeah, I'll protect, I'm landing on him to protect him. Are you going to land on him, are you? you can try well, I've got to protect him. I'm, I'm, I'm standing can, over him to protect him. You can try a tumbling manoeuvre too. If you try... In fact, let me just check the space on the map, and if you try a tumbling manoeuvre and there's a space on the map, I'll let you get down. If there's not a space on the map, I can't give you the chance. So, first of all, I need you to remember that Ogrim moved five feet, uh, and we have... Uh, uh, and the car prone on the floor there. So, uh, yeah, I'll say there's this space here. If you make a tumbling check, I'll let you land in there. 
you'd be surrounded by monsters, but in fact, you, you don't see this map, do you? Because I haven't moved players. No, I don't. Okay, I'll move players. Give me one second. Having a good day. I go to throw holy water and I break two bottles, and then I go to climb down a rope and I fall off. That was a, that was a beautiful yeah, attempt. If you'd got the one at the so, 20th the other way see, around. See, that space, David. Well, why should I have to tumble? Can I not just stand over Ander McCarr to defend him? Mm, you can't have two people occupy the same oh space. God. I'd say if you move into that space, you can get down. And, and because he's in the square adjacent, to do so, you would have to normally take an attack of opportunity from this one. To not take the attack of opportunity, that's what I would require the tumble check for, okay? Okay, well... He's throwing his life away, and I'm probably throwing mine too. Fly. Are you are you doing it? I'll try. Give me a tumbling proficiency check then. Oh, hang on. Yes, indeed. You did it. Nice. Okay, so Sninky Nook can come down here now. Into that space, and with no attack of opportunity. Now, let's give you twenty-eight out of thirty-four hit points. Is that right? Because remember when we move tokens around, sometimes it doesn't do it right. At the moment, yes. Ah, okay, about three right. melee rounds from getting one back. Ah, that is right. <laughs> okay. So. Now, so I get one attack. Because of the tumbling. Um, no. Because of the tumbling proficiency check, I'm giving you both attacks, mate. But I, ha I only had one sword drawn. Oh, yeah, because you, you were going to climb down with one hand initially. You've only got exactly. one sword drawn. Correct. Okay. Okay. No, he's, he's, he's fair both ways when he, when he rules lawyers, David. He's a great rules lawyer. A fair one on both both ways. So, yeah, he's got one attack. Pick your target. Okay. Uh, neither of these two look damaged. Mm -mm. Fine. In that case, I shall uh, smite the one behind me. Okay. That's a smelly one. Yep. Good luck. Yeah, good. Hit? Sorry, yeah, about full of juice. There's a hit, yeah. Give me some damage, please. Oh, serious hits. Yippee! It's not a skeleton. <laughs> it, no, there's no half damage on your piercing weapon. It, ta it takes a serious wound. It looks very, very, very wounded now, this thing. Um, but I haven't killed it. So doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be blood coming from it, but, but there are big holes in it, and maybe you even get like little wafts of stink coming out of these holes that you've pierced in it, where blood yeah. would come out of a, a living being. Um, L -L 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 Lenora, I'll need to change your maps. Give me one moment. Lenora. Eleanor is waiting to see if one gets up. Okay. As uh, Kiara then. Kiara's picking up. Uh, I don't uh, have any names. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just saw your name. My apologies. Daro, you're on nine and nine. Is that because you're? What did you roll? No, I'm on nine, and it's on. I should, there should only be one nine there. should only there. be on one. Okay, cool. Got it, I fixed it. And I'm, uh, let's see if I can finish it off with the hammer. Oh, the one that, yeah, the one down there, yeah, yeah. So, minus two plus two, yeah. Like Kiara just tried. Good luck. That's a hit. Give me some damage. And I can remember how many hit points it's got. Don't need to change maps. Not yet. If you hit it a few times, it must be uh, on its own. You certainly out. have. A bit of damage, but you'll be pleased to know, and I'll change maps to show you, that is enough to put that yeah. one in. Yeah. 
It is no down. Dead. Okay. Um, Hello. Next is. Having killed two in a row with his hammer. Aye. Hello. Grabs the hammer in a very self satisfied way. Now, this hammer comes flying back up the trap door in, and into your hand as well. It comes boomeranging back up as well because it's this magical throwing hammer. Nice. That is two for two with the hammer for Big Darrow. Big Darrow throwing hammer. We're going to have to change his name. How doesn't it? Yeah. What did you say, the David? Oddity is Adam a car still visible on the top map? So he is. No problem. Um. Fargrim's next. And there aren't many people. I, I had been considering having Davo step back at the as his last action, but there aren't many people to make room for. So he's Davo's okay made an attack as his is. action. He's not got any movement. There's no movement after attacks. There's only. No, he was just saying, no, no, he wasn't saying that, he no. was just saying what he was, well, you're not Peter, you were just saying what you would do, you were. Oh, right, okay. Can yeah. Fargrim go down the rope and step onto the, bo the, 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 the body next to uh, Adam McCarr? Hang on one second. Come with me to another map. Yeah, I'm not a welcome map, Matt, no. you know. And unless you want You're to stand, right? Okay. I so I think it's only the people with tumbling who can get past. There's no getting because past. Because when now. I asked if Davo could get down, no, there's no getting past. I was past told I, I don't allow two characters to gas. occupy the same. There's yeah. no gas there now. Well, well, yeah, good point. Right? Okay. So if you landed on top, of, there's still an occupied space. There's, there's still a, there's a massive pile of bodies here. Remember, and my car's on top of a pile of bodies. So. You have technically got space, correct, because there was a dead guy. In that case, he'll go down there. He's not letting his brother show him up. Okay, so what's he doing? Climbing down the rope? Yep, climbing down the rope. Okay. Maul in one hand, rope in the other hand, down the rope and into the space. And if he happens to tread on the earth, well, uh, sorry. Um, Dexterity check. Dexterity check for if he steps on the elf or not. Uh, the, the, the elf is oh, another direction. If he was going to step on anyone, it's his brother. Uh, yes, but he's, he's, no, he's sliding no, no, no. down the rope. He's sliding down the rope. He's not doing a tumbling check. He is just sliding down the rope. And Adam McCarr is there. So he has to get there first and then move to there. So dexterity check from him. He so, manages to avoid okay. stepping manages too to hard on the elf. Manages to not step on Adam McCarr. How many boot prints have I got on my back now? <laughs> and uh, no, I'm not giving him an attack because he's got a two-handed weapon and he climbed down the used... rope. Exactly. Yeah. Now it gets interesting. No, it doesn't because he's dead. Let me just Good. bear with me a second, then, folks. I'm going into my GM layer. Yep. So we got the ghast special action of the stink. We were lucky then. Ooh. Ooh. Anybody, Ugh. anybody off the top of their head know what the movement rate of a ghast is? Uh, I want to nope. real quickly go open the I monster know. manual. I don't know. I mean. 90 is probably a sensible answer, but I don't know offhand. Could somebody quickly double check for me? 15. Really? It's 150. Really, 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 really. Ooh, he's oh. a red trouble. They're, they're rapid. But if he moves more than half his movement rate, he doesn't get an attack. What's, what's half 75? Okay. So this... Incidentally, I, 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 is there any uh, visible area that I can see now? Uh, good point. Uh, from where you are, so I'm doing, let me just pull this over here. So much going on. 
So you see another ghast appear here. Um, no, oh, I need great. To uh, it doesn't get attacked though, because it's moved quite a way to get there. Oh, great. The reveal areas. So you'll see, I guess, a little bit through that door. Okay. And let me just... Is this a wall over here or a gap? Two ah. seconds, mate. Uh, so there's a little bit of a gap there, actually. You see where I've just opened that up? There is yep. a, a hole there. So you can see there's the makings of another room there. You see that? Yep. Uh, what else would you see? That's I think that's about all that you'll see here. That look about sensible to you? Fair enough. Yeah? Okay, now let me get back into my right thing. Someone select move. Token layer. So I had that ghast move on its turn. Let me move my turn order back to where it needs to be. Uh, next it is the ghouls. So, oh, we do get fun now. Right, okay, this is going to be sick. So who goes first? So I've got one, two, three, four. Let's go clockwise. No, let's go left to right, okay? So this one is attacking Ogrim. To be grabbed by the ghoulies. Hey, plus 10 points for the dad <laughs> joke. Plus 10 XP for the dad joke. Right. So. Four. <coughs> claw first. That's a good one. Does armor class 3 hit Ogrim? No, it does not. Well, I don't think so, no. Hang on, let me just check. I thought he was about zero. Oh, he's zero, yeah. Yeah. Zero. Okay, so that one doesn't hit. So I'm going left to right. So this one is going to turn and attack Sninkinook. AC4. AC4, thank you. Nothing. Okay. And this one is going to turn and attack Fargrim. I should make him attack Stinky Nook because I know you've got a worse armor class. I should make a game. You guys do it enough. No. What's well, meta oh. game in? Oh, it fumbled. Yeah, he fumbled. So he loses his third attack. Now, um, and he loses his attacks next round. So I'll put a marker on him, actually. A wee fumbleino. There we go. Uh, so n uh, next I've got some in the GM layer, so you'll need to bear with me a moment, guys. It's alright, guys, I need you to bear with me a moment anyway. I'm going to chase my kid off his Xbox. Hey. Wait a minute. Now, what, is yeah, the movement on a ghoul the same as a gas? Whoever was checking gas for me and it was 15, what's a ghoul, David? Nine. Uh, ghoul's movement, nine. Nine, okay, thank you. I'm going to do some measuring. Alright, so they all get in. Give me a second then. Back to select move. I've got something missing here in my thing. GM layer. So yes, Kiara, our battle plan is follow the Mad Dwarf and protect the uh, kind of prone elf. All right. That's not my day. One of those behind the DM screen moments, guys. With you in just a moment. So, seem to be an awful lot of them. <laughs> next, right. there are. next it's Charlemagne. Uh, so I will move maps and move you guys with me. Come with me, back above ground. Now, if Charlemagne tries climbing down on top of the elf, I'm not going to be happy. Fargrim's figure is still on this map. Thank you. Right, uh, Charlemagne, doing anything? 
this turn. Oh, Tammy's away, isn't she? Oh, she's back. She's muted. Sorry, <laughs> I was chasing the kids. Yeah, no worries. Um, no worries. Charlemagne will not do anything. He's going to stay up here. He's going to hold his action at least anyway. Okay. Uh, that's going to be fun when he tries to climb down, but he usually manages things like that, doesn't he? Right, we said last time that he his reach would be enough that he could like drop down. Yeah, he's got. He's, it's only ten feet. He could just like hang down. That's right. Yeah. We did say that. That he could climb. Bears are pretty good at climbing anyway. Exactly. Right. I watched a bear come out of someone's crawl space in their house on a, in a video. Zoom in a little. Oh, Grim, you are kind of surrounded. You're surrounded by your compatriots and by enemies. Yeah. Well. There's a, there's a ghoul right here. Looks like it needs this holy water sprinkler applied to it. Uh, yeah, that's this your, one that's, here, that's, I reckon. That's your main hand weapon, right? Go for uh, it. Yeah. So, just select him. Holy water sprinkler. Looks good. Four. Four is a hit. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Sorry. Yeah. Don't know why I hesitated. And there. so, give me some damage. weapon damage. Weapon damage first, yeah. Three <laughs> weapon damage. And another three. And you've got <laughs> rolling one d four this time because it's the third and round. It's remember, a D4, yes. It won't have any next round unless you reload it. It now needs reloaded. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> well, there wasn't much left in that one, was there? Two ones. I said there was just a little couple of drops came out there of water. That's so that is empty now. Uh, I'm so rolling really badly on this damage. damage. Yeah, you didn't do so hot there, did you? Right, okay. Uh, but, it's and because, uh, sorry, it's Ogrim's second attack straight after, so you've got a chance to smash something with your hammer, mate. Yeah, let's see if the hammer can do better. Same one? It's not just a standard hammer he's got, is it? Ooh. Warhammer plus two. Yeah, that's a hit. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Now that, combined with the first one, is enough. And this one drops. Nice old Grim. And we didn't have any held actions. Oh, we did have held actions, didn't we? Right, so let's go back upstairs. Can old Grim advance a little bit to clear some space? No, not after his attack. The... The movement could have been, it could have moved between attacks, but there wasn't any space at the time. No. So, I'll only allow that extra five meter movement yep, between attacks. There's no after. Right, okay, so come with me, back upstairs. And we're on held actions, and I know at least the bear was held, so is anybody else? Eleanor! Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Here we are. And Eleanor sees... Kiara, Davo, and the bear at the occupying the three spaces around the hole. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, Eleanor may move a little bit forward. Well, it's basically Eleanor's in a position to, to uh, you know, she, she's, she's directly behind Kiara and Davo. So if either one of them goes down, she she's just one step away. Okay. Yep. That's that's what she's done. Yep, that's fine. Uh... You know what I mean, I had a hold a held action, but I'm not sure we can, what he can do. Yep. Apart from jumping down on Andam, I can't. I. That's your only option, really. Well, you could, they'd move around up here, but if you want to do anything with that held nah. action, so nothing. Okay, so we go on to the next round. Okay, so this is the top of round four. Kiara is picking up her darts. Eleonora? Eleanor. You can move, though. You've got your darts picked up. So you've got no attacks with them this round. Sorry, before we move on to Eleonora, you can still move, Kiara. You can also move. Sorry. You've, All got, right. you've got your darts picked Hello. up. You can move as well in this round if you want. Okay. 
I don't want to move, it's all right. Okay. David, what were you saying? Actually, sorry. I do want to, I have decided that on action for Eleanor, uh, I forgot she's curing Darrow. All right, she's going to do a heal spell, okay. Roll that then, so we can get moving. Well, do you know what? We've already got moved. We've already started the round, Peter. So too late. You can do it next yeah. round. Sorry. We've already started. I said many, many times, is there anybody else changing initiative and then we started the round? No, she's not doing it. You can do it next round. Uh, Stinky Nook. Oh, next, uh, sorry. Back downstairs. Right, another ghast. Uh, right, I'm going to attempt to uh, remove its liver with my rapier. <laughs> Hang on, I didn't change maps, I'm stupid. Right, I apologise. You're going to attempt to remove its liver, you said. Uh, which one? Because you've got a few around you. The, the ghast. ghast. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, the ghast. This one. Go for it. Is the prayer in if or not? Uh, no. Uh, prayer comes in on the 10. Darrow's initiative is 10. Right, okay. Let me zoom in a little and bit I here. missed. You missed indeed. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here first because I've got the ghast next. So, you got his attention because I'm going to pull his, all his attacks on you. Let's have some fun. They were going to be on me anyway. Yeah, probably. Let's have some fun. <sighs> AC4 you are, eh? Oh, yes. Come on. Oh. Come on. I'm willing these to hit now. Yes! Come on. You guys oh, have too many easy fights. Ouch, ouch, oh, ouch. I've not added its damage into the character sheet. Give me just a second, guys. That's a... A schoolboy error, or someone want to tell me what the damage on a ghoul is? Uh, one to eight. It's one to four claw, one to eight uh, bite. Peter's got the oh, book out, you know the pink stick way or the ghoul, section. Not a, not a ghoul, um, sorry, a ghast. The melee damage of a ghast, sorry. Claw and bite. That's the best. One to four and one to eight. Is it? You sure? Yes, one to four for each claw and one to eight for the bite. He sounds very confident. Mm. I think it was more on the, on the ghoul, wasn't it? No, ghouls are one to three and one to six. Yeah, it wasn't. Two seconds, because I may have put that wrong <laughs> on their sheet then. Ah, no, yeah, I've got that on their sheet. Okay, thank you, David. One, one d4 and one d8 on the claw and bite. No problem. Okay, so I've got a bite damage. And I've got to save versus paralysation. Take eight damage and make a saving throw versus paralysation, my friend. Oh, that that, on, that was a hit, was it? That was a hit. You rolled to hit, not uh, damage. Oh, I did. Right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Thank you, Trevor. I've rolled, pressed the wrong button on roll 20. Uh, and you are a small to medium creature. No, I'm small. Oh, oh you got, you got eight anyway. anyway. <laughs> oh, great. So and I'm probably going to get paralysed. Eight damage from the bite and oh, make I'd... a save versus paralysation. I'd help you there. Oh, Ooh, you've made your save. So that's two successful paralysation saves we've had in this. Well done, guys. Lucky. Right then. So that was the ghast on his turn. He Did I do all three attacks? Yeah, I did all three attacks. Six. So next it is a Fargrim Battle Hammer. Uh, Darrow, surely. Did I skip Darrow? No, Darrow, you're on ten, mate. Fargrim's on nine. Oh, okay. Calm down, okay, Kenny. well, let's clobber this, uh... You've got well, melee on the gas down the ghoul. Uh, well, he's going for the ghoul first. Okay. Turn his token on. Go for it, good luck. There's something you've been forgetting about. Whoa. Uh, oh, no. 
Which is the smell of the gas. I was thinking, yeah, have I, have I not, have you supposed to be making a save against that? Have I missed that? <gasps> oh, yeah. Is that a hit on the ghoul? AC6? AC6 is a hit. Roll some damage on that, and then I'm going to have to reread this rule. Thanks, Peter. Give me damage on that, and then I'll, I'll go read this. Because these are going to have to make some more saves. Nine. Well, that thing had exactly nine hit points. You pad another one to the pile. Right. And let me pause there for a second to go read this rule because I've missed it on one of the rules for Ghast. Um, they exude a carrion stench in a 10 foot radius which causes retching and nausea unless a saving throw versus poison is made. Those failing to make the save will attack at apparently minus two. So, you guys are already here. Uh, I'm going to have you all just do it now. So, Adam McCarr, Fargrim, Ogrim, Stinkinook, I want saves versus poison from all of you. Okay, sneak it up from first from me. The poison. Thanks right for it. the rule reminder, Peter. I poison, Trev. Yes, I, I had. And my car is saved. Yes, I had so failed. Sneaking a car and he's failed. Yeah, I had sort of been assuming you were going to make the saves on the gas turn. Yeah, was thanks, Peter. I why I kept it. quiet until you missed it on the gas effect. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thanks. Um, so, your attacks are all at minus two for the time being, Sninky Nook. Fair enough. And this is Fargrim. And Ogrim has succeeded. Fargrim has failed. So, let Fargrim's me put. Let me put markers on you then for nausea. You are nauseous. Who failed? Uh, Fargrim. Yeah. You're nauseous, boys. Okay. Uh, right, where were we? Thanks, Peter. We are now... After Fargrim had his attack, he killed that thing. We are now. Thanks for waiting. Let me pull you back up to your level. We are with you, Peter and Darrow. Let's go. Uh, and you need to go back down to the other map yeah. to find 60 foot radius and all the enemies and everyone with all the good. In, I've done prayers. So oh, all, you're casting prayer. All right. My sides are at plus one on various things, and all the enemies within 60 foot are at minus one on various okay. things. I think they're all within 60 foot. Next time we switch to that map, we'll check to see if any of them are not, okay? So... Yeah, but as you've had things rush in from off the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, the ones that are all there for now, um, I think are within 60 foot. When we get down, we'll check. It's 60 feet of next to the hole. Yeah, so I think that they're all going to be affected. So that's prayer. So that's affects you po you and your party positively and them negatively. Okay. Darrow casts prayer. Stinky Nook, I've got you next. Is this a second attack for you, is it? Correct. Let's Again move. on the gas. Let's go downstairs. One second. On the gas again. And this is minus two plus one, so... Mm-hmm. Minus two from the nausea, plus one from Darrow's prayer spell. Combat's getting thick and full of conditions, I love it. That is a miss. A miss. Okay, uh the, yeah, we'll pair, lasts, the pair lasts for six rounds. Six rounds, okay, so uh I'll come back up to that map and put a token on you, Darrow. That'll do it. Six, you said, wait, yeah? Yeah. Cool, put a token on you. Now, uh, where were we? It's ghoul time, so let's go back downstairs. Oh, ho, ho. Now we get to have some fun with ghouls. It's time for the ghoulies. 
So all heading at minus one. All at minus one. You are correct because of the prayer spell affects them negatively. So I'm going to say that this one moves. I'll do the movements first, right? Of the ones that are. Like not in, I'm gonna have. To, this is annoying when you can't grab the the end of the thing to make it bigger. Uh, to turn it, it's just it lands under this little thing, and I don't know how, what to do. To f okay, I'm not gonna turn him. He's just gonna. We're gonna imagine that he's facing left. I can't turn him. It's a pain. Anyone that's looking at the stream can see the struggles. Because I'm trying to get my mouse cursor on the little thing. I can never do it when it's on the normal little... It's <sighs> yeah, too it's small for me. So this one, know. imagine he turns Trace Fargrim. He's not actually, but imagine he does. Uh, and other ones that are out of range are going to move to within range as well. So they're piling in thick and hard behind you all. Now, let's be clear, there's three squares at least there. So we've got one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, if only I'd been able to move before the ghouls, I might have been able to get in. But... Remember that one of the ghouls isn't going to get its attacks. Yeah, this one doesn't get... Uh, sorry, which one are you talking about? Well, the fumbled is dead. That's the fumble one, he's dead. All these ghouls, right, uh, all, yeah, all these ghouls do get an attack. I just want to move them in position first. So we'll go clockwise. It's not the gas, it's the ghouls. So clockwise, it's this one first. Ha yeah. Have we, ki have we killed the ghoul that had to already taken 10 damage? Yeah. So this one here that I can't turn. Oh, this is such a pain in the ass. I can't turn it. It's going to attack Fargrim. Give me a sec. Um, everything at minus one. So it hits armor class of five. It's not a hit. Why, why don't we just raise everybody's armor class by one rather than um, uh, Ryan having to put minus one on every uh, attack? No, it doesn't matter. We can remember. That's a critical hit anyway. So uh, let's have a double damage on the claw. Up at minus one. Yeah, there's minus one on damage. You're right. So... Uh, <laughs> Two minus one doubled. It's two. It's two. So two damage on Fargrim. Whoever looks after his sheep, please. And make a save okay. versus paralyzation. At plus one. At plus one from the prayer spell. Thank you, Peter. There's so much to keep track of, so I appreciate you chipping it all in at the end of each roll, like... Success. Succeed. Three saves versus paralyzation so far from successful attacks from these bed boys. Right. So we're going clockwise. So this one's attacking Sninky Nook. Minus one. I'm not putting them in. We can work it out after. One if fumbles. So he loses attacks next round. Uh, next we've got this one attacking Stinky Nook. This horrible creature with its foul claws reaches out and loses all his attacks this round as well. <laughs> oh, we're doing well with fumbles this, yeah, 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 this yeah. game. Arrow, your god is protecting us. And the last one's attacking Ogrim. And gets a critical hit. Come on, it's about time it goes my way. Let's go. So I want a... Uh, a double damage on what was this claw? It was. Yeah. You're doing similar numbers of of criticals and fumbles, so you can't complain. One, there is no yeah. one minus one, um, so the one doubles to two. Two damage on Ogrim. <laughs> now that was only his first attack. Let's go. Let's get some more crits. Let's go. You can make all the saves together if there's multiple hits. Let me just do the attacks first. Right, so uh, take the two damage 
Ogrim, and give me a save versus paralysation. Can you guys make it yep. four out of four? I've, I've subtracted two hit points. Uh, saving throw versus paralysation. Good luck. Okay. Can you make it four out of four, the group? Oh, he has done. He has done. Right, I'm okay. a dwarf. It's not that easy to paralyse me. Hey, there we <laughs> go. So that is the end of the turn of the ghouls. Uh, so it is why have I not got a name on this one Fargrim hasn't got a name on my sheet for some reason but it's him Fargrim's turn fair enough Fargrim will have a swing with his give mall. me a second don't do anything give me one sec I'm going to fix this I'm going to tidy this up um, <clears throat> out of character I'm just about to take medication these have got like a good 45 minutes out of minute. Okay. That's all we're playing for anyway. Yeah. Or, or do you want me to wait like 15 minutes? Yeah, that's fine. Right, I'll fix that. Wait. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, aye, shoot. We're only going to be playing for another 40 minutes anyway. Uh, David, then roll, roll for Fargrim. Sorry, I was tidying okay. up the sheet. Uh, tracker. That's a hit. I'm assuming. Oh, is it the sorry? Is it the ghoul or the ghast? Is it it's still the ghoul? Yeah. Uh, going for the ghoul. Yeah. Yes. Give me the damage then. Oh, that hits him right in the ghoulies. Thank fuck, because that's the one I just token I couldn't turn. Thanks, you've done me a favour getting rid of that one. Step forward onto the body. No, there's no step forward. Has he got multiple attacks? No. No. Shut up then. He'll spit on it instead. I don't know how many times I had to say it tonight. Like, jeez, oh. It's a massive pile. Remember, this pile is actually under your feet here. I'm just moving them out of the way the for Is this the first round he's attacked since he's come down, or does he have a second attack? He's using a two-handed weapon. But he's specialised. Um, he gets he's specialised. Paul Grimm should get a uh, second attack with his hammer this round. This round. I right, assume, we, add that I assume now. that's at the end of the round anyway, isn't it? I hope I can add it now. Actually, yes, this is his second uh, second round of attacking because he okay. killed a ghoul last round. What's so he can actually step that? forward. He gets three three per two. So he does get a second attack with his maul okay. this round. What's the weapon speed on it, David? Uh, weapon speed is three. So what was his in initial initiative? It was nine, yeah? Yep, so he'll go on 12. Okay. I'm sorry, I hadn't noticed that. So, all right, let me put that in the right place here. Oh, we're going to get more attacks. It's good. Right, where are we at? Darrow? Darrow just cast the dread. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, we're past you. Uh, I, yeah, yeah. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out of order here. We've just had the ghouls, haven't we? Yep. Yeah, so we are at Charlemagne. So bear with me, I'll switch maps. No, for, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm at Charlemagne. So, is he doing anything? I think there's not. Nah, I was going to say, there's not much point switching maps again, it's not... Okay, yeah. He's not going to go down there until he's... Yeah, he's not, he will be able to go down there, but he's not going to go down there until he either has to or is told to. Okay, no problem. Go back downstairs on the map, because it's Anne and car next. Now you are... Can, you're up. I didn't, yes. I didn't give you a prone round, I was kind, and you're up and you can do your thing. Like. Can I squeeze past Fargrim and come and stand over here? Uh, yeah, that space is unoccupied, yes. There are corpses under your feet, but yeah, I you shall trample on them. I shall trample these ghouls underfoot. Well, just like the dwarfs <laughs> almost did to you. <laughs> are you attacking that ghast? I am going to attack that ghast. Good luck. All right, let's see what it whether I can kill it. Longsword. I've got plus one to hit. 
Yeah, plus one from prayer. Yep. You made your nausea save, didn't you? Yep. Oh, yes, that's good enough. Plenty good enough. That is absolutely good enough. Let's have damage. Plus one. <laughs> Do I get plus one from prayer? Plus one. Plus one from prayer, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful shots. Oh, we've had a few nice ones now, and that was on the ghast. Oh, I was due a bit of luck. Oh, you knock it back and it almost, <laughs> almost falls over, but it seems to bounce back off the ghoul behind it and it comes back. Somehow it's not dead. It's not oh. re-dead. Minus 13. Uh, so what what, 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 was that the hit it with? That, that was a longsword. With a longsword, aye. Nice hit. Awesome. It is... Uh, yeah. Fargrim's second attack with the maul next. Well, he's going to go for the he's going to go for the gas because people would talk if he went for the elf. The gas looks on its last leg, by the way. Mm. Yeah, it's obviously, and the car's tumble knocked some sense into him. He well, the gas is in very it's bad shape. Temporary. Anyway. Its wounds are huge. Adam McCars just put a huge one in it. That's not enough to hit it though. Well, the the elf knocked his uh, his arm as he went past. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, so where excuses, are we? Excuses, excuses. Ogrim has three attacks this round, and they're all coming up. This is fun. So he's got first. He's got the oh, no. the holy it's water got sprinkler. The but he's holy not water sprinkler. It. It's not reloaded it, though, got... so it's just a flail. Yeah. This round. So give me that yeah. attack first. Uh, in fact, tell me which one. Cause you've got left and right. Uh, are they both fresh ones? Yeah, I don't think either of them have. Well, no, one of them has been hit. In fact, that one's got nothing in his hit points. I don't remember what he's got for hit points, so I'm going to have to make it up. Um, uh, can I, can I tell, Does anybody can remember? I tell which has one, that one been hit? That one has been hit. One? No. He's not. No, hasn't been hit. Neither okay. of them have been hit. So, I know what the no, average hit points these have is, so I'll just give them that. No, this one has been hit. This one has. Either that he'll, or he'll a, aim for a the one really that's been hit, hit before. Points. So he's going to aim for the one that's been hit before. Doesn't have a bar, so I don't know what his to starting total was. Go for it. This one's got less hit points anyway. That's one to hit. Oh. So you lose. <laughs> just we we're just talking about his all his extra attacks this round. He loses them all. Yeah. Uh, and can I have one d ten, please? Oh, okay. close. So you lose. <laughs> no, it was one that he needed to. to you lose really the rest fumble. of your attacks this round and your attacks next round because you fumbled. Oh dear. So, we find ourselves at the end of the round. Charlemagne technically had a held action if you want to bring him down, Tammy. Nah. No, no okay. that's too. So, uh, we're going to go to the top of a new round. It'll probably be the last one because we've got half an hour left. I move up to the other map. to come down. Before we do. I'm going to take a very quick bathroom break, okay, guys? Two minutes. You know how small my house is. Okay, it's, it's right there. Okay, back in a second. And it's going to be Kiara first, uh, if she's doing anything. Well, you've got initiative for darts, so sorry. Mm -hmm. are, are you throwing them just now? You remember, you can move first, you can come down. Was there room? <laughs> Did anybody remember there wasn't room, was there? No, you can't. Go yes, there is there's room, because Andy McCarthy moved. Ah, yeah, he did. Yeah, I'm going to go down. So I'll delete your token here. Does that take up my turn, though, going down? No, you still got your tax, because it's going to be less than half your movement. So I'll delete your nice. token okay. here. That's a pain in the ass. It deletes your initiatives. They were four, five, and mm -hmm. six, though, weren't they? It's fine. I remember them. Four, yeah, or four, six, and six, something like that. Four, five, six. That's why four, I wasn't five, six, deleting yeah. the token straight away, wasn't it? Okay. That's fine. I can quickly add them again. There is one space, you're right. So, I can quickly add some initiatives in for you. Add turn, add turn, add turn. And we go back. Oh, oh. Five, six. Right, okay. So, ooh, in fact, this is all right for you. You find yourself with only a dwarf, with only dwarfs. 
and a, a gnome in front of you. These things are medium creatures, medium to large creatures, whereas the, whereas the gnomes are in the dwarfs are small to medium creatures. You've got your, th- you can th- use your thrown weapons above them with no penalty, I would say. Um, mm-hmm. And you find the ghast and one, two, three of them in zero penalty range. So, yeah. use, have fun. I hate to say it, but if she's within zero penalty range, she's within spell range. Yeah, we can save. Thank you, Peter. Save versus poison. Mm-hmm. Please, Davy. <laughs> yes, cheers, Peter, for remembering. Right. Plus one again. because of the prayer. At plus one Did because she... of the prayer spell, yes. Does she save now or when or when it's uh, the ghast's initiative? Nah, because you, you guys didn't do it on the ghast initiative. You did it when we remembered. So she can do it when she comes down. It's only fair. Well, that makes sense, doesn't hey! it? Hey! Top roll. Right. Okay. Now, have fun with your darts. Since you made your save. Right, let me manually get down to the bottom. So... Plus one. Yes, yes, they are attack. all plus... Oh, all attacks and all damage at plus one, well remembered. Yes. Kiara comes down and thinks, oh, this is not as bad as those sewers. It's a target which environment as well. I'll wait two seconds, Tammy, because I want to know. Ghast or mm-hmm. one, two, Gast. three? Right, on the gas. Gast. Okay, give yeah. me damage on that one. Um, yeah, it's looking wounded. With a plus one. <laughs> Finish it off. Is that, it off. Is that uh, large... No, it's medium still. It's medium and at plus one damage. Come on. That plus one goodness from the prayer. Always. Nice. Come on, come on. Minimum, but still solid. To me, that's shit. Well, you'd be pleased to know it was enough, though. Yes. Jenkins to the rescue again, boys. Well... Good news, Jenkins. You've got another two attacks, and there's still three targets and zero um, penalty range. So from left Easy. to right, from Easy. left to right, I'm calling them one, two, three. Which one do you want to attack first? One is damaged, yeah. isn't it? I think it was one, wasn't it? That was damaged. No, it's two that's damaged. Was it two? Okay. Let's oh, go well, for number easy, two then. E- easier targets as well. All right. Throw it between two heads. Another one of them, and you're hitting it like. Yeah, plus one. Minus oh, yes. six. Oh, oh, oh. That's a very tasty hit. Three again. Fuck me. Right, well. Yeah, uh, and that was on this one. Who's already damaged. So this one is looking pretty shaky, actually. As the dart sticks into mm. him. Shakes around a little bit before it drops out. It leaves a serious hole in him. Uh, and you've got a third one of those. Still at number two, Wait, or...? Yeah, number two again. I'm going to finish this cunt off, like... If you hit him, you will. Let's go, come on. In fact, Mind hang on. Good throw. In fact, hang yeah. on. Save that dart, Tammy. Save that dart. In fact, you can have right. a roll if we end up using it, right? We'll use that roll if we end up using it. But um, I forgot to add plus one to your damage. Oh no, did you add plus one in your roll? Yeah, I did, did. all my did. Right, never mind, sorry, he does still have a hit point left, okay. So this yeah. one is still on him then. Maybe not for much longer yeah, though, yeah, yeah. to be fair. I thought he didn't have a hit point I at left, but he does, he does. Right. He doesn't know, mm. you've just hit him. He doesn't know, definitely. It's overkill, we're just working out how much oh, overkill you're doing. Yes, got four. Oh nice. I finish him off. He is finished off. Right. Mr. Oh, Mr. Nuke, first name Stinky. I'm going for the one in front of Olgrim. Okay. Number one, as he's now known. That's an AC6 from Stinky Nuke. Well done. That's a hit. 11 damage. Yes. Ooh, that's good. Uh, that is enough to one hit him. Oops. So, yeah, you, was that your rapier? Yeah, rapier runs him, rapier. Through, runs him through. Runs him through. He's a one hit. Deliver. 
He's a one hit wonder. He took his liver out, just like you'd say you were going to. And it's back upstairs we go. It's fearless leader time. Daro. Peter, what's Daro doing? Daro looks at the lack of space below. <laughs> yeah, it's sorry, yeah, going down is not an option, pretty much. So he holds his action. Okay. And oh Well I'll say make room, make make room for me. It's a ghoulie time. So you're shouting down at them to make space. Right, it's ghoulie time. And I went clockwise last time, we'll go clockwise again this time. So this one has uh no attack this round, so I'll take his fumble marker off it gets his attack next round. This one's going to move in. To I guess there actually take up that space, and and the car looks tasty. We're gonna have a bite at him. In fact, before we do, we're gonna go with our claws as well. <laughs> is this a? Uh, is this look? Well, we can't really tell whether it's a ghast or a ghoul, can we? Does it no, smell bad? You can't tell because the smelly one is under your feet. The one, oh. that, the one that was marked <laughs> as different, or the two that were marked as different. Are under your feet. Ugh, I'm going to have to polish my shoes after yeah, this. So you don't know which one's which. You don't know the difference between a, a gas and a ghoul now. You don't know what these are. Um, and I've got minus ones on these rolls, right? I'll put in after. Yep. What's your AC? Because I rolled a one there, not a zero. Oh, minus two. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> right, let's go. Right, that's not a hit. Uh, let's go with a bite. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No, nah, that's a two I've rolled, so that's not a hit. Right, okay. Um, move the rest in, and then we're going clockwise. So it's this one second. He's facing that, that, that way. That one... Um, missed it's the one that's just... Yeah, yeah, he's just... Yeah, you're right, sorry. He's just had his thing taken off them. It's because I've moved them. Uh, so this one... And uh, he is facing Snanky Nook, so we'll say he's attacking you. Don't have to. Oh yeah, I do. Not like you've killed his friend or anything. He's not going to do much with attack rolls like that anyway. Now that's a two. He is with that. That's a two, but that is a hit, isn't it? Of course. Yee. So I get to do some bite damage on you. Yeah, you that could say you were hit. You, you could say you were hitting on his girlfriend. <laughs> Oh, Trevor. Uh, uh, Plus yeah. 10 XP for that dad joke as well, mate. I also, I also heard a sneaky one back there that nobody noticed about a one-hit wonder. I like that one as well. Did you? I'll maybe hear it in post and add 10 yeah. XP then. Big crap in the mic. <laughs> I have, I've decided like any any really good dad jokes like that, plus 10 on your role playing bonus in the XP. Absolutely. You know I, I reward rule, for, rule of cool. You give me dad jokes, I'll reward it. Um... So is that one hit point or zero? There's no zero. One minus one is one. There's minimum damage is one. Shut up, you. You know it's not zero. One damage. And make a save versus paralysation, please. Still at plus one. At plus one, yeah. On oh, lucky. You saved. So, we move to the last one. Last one, make a difference. Well, the last one's Not gonna... on that one. Did it not? Okay, well, the old grim's no. going to get tested now. See, that his armor class is way better than Snake Nook, so it's a zero. And I've rolled a two there anyway, because I've... I'm not uh, adding the number in manually each time. That's a three. God, these are so close. Oh, come in. Right, that's my ghouls finished. Fargrim. I think it's uh, ghoul time. Got this one here in front He'll of me. He'll go for the one in front of Andamakar. Yep, okay. Good luck. Minus one. 
Oh, good cool one. Oof. Critical hit. Yes. Uh, sorry, who, who, remind me who rolled that? Fargrim. Fargrim. I D4, and if you get the four, it's the, the special. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Right. Triple damage, everybody. So, if you're new to the stream or a returning viewer nine. that's not been around for a while, one of my homebrew rules is you get a certain rule depending on your class after your critical hit, and he's made that a very special critical hit. It's triple damage time. So, plus one before... I think it's flying gold bits time. <laughs> and yeah. uh, hammers uh, it to uh, the ground. Uh, 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 so, uh, he apologises to Ander Adam Akar and sneaking up for sharing them with ghoul. Yeah. And there's another thing, yes. I, I add the bonus before I do the multiplication. So that's 12 plus 1. It's 13 times 3. 39 damage, everybody. Oh, and that is just a paste on the ground. Uh, and that was this one here, right? Well, it's absolutely just paste on the ground. Do you want to, like, just... Who's who's rolled that? David, you rolled that for Fargrim. Give me the description of that. He it's... brought the hammer down, and a bit like Norton, it just... The, ha the, the head was a bit too far past the ghoul, and the shaft of the, of the maul just kind of cleaved it in two all the way down. Lovely, lovely. For, for context, it was like a 29 hit point overkill. He had 10 and you had 30, 39. So, yeah, absolutely. There's nothing left. He's jam paced. Was this a one or two blow round? For him, it's a one, I believe. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a, it's a one blow round for Olgrim as well. Anyway, swap weapons. No, well, I think it's, yeah, I think it's two for Fargrim. Um, could be. Didn't, he had one attack last round. He has two this round. What's his weapon speed? Just double checking it. No, it's already in. It's already in. It's already in there. I should have ordered. Panic over. Panic over. Um, it's his brother next. Your other NPC killing machine. Ogrim Battle Hammer. What did Trevor? You're doing him. What's he. D I, 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 I suppose. What's he doing is a redundant question. He's just going to try and hit. <laughs> yeah. try and hit this ghoul in front of him. Is that number one? The one on the left? Number one. Yeah. Uh, where are we? Warhammer. And still got plus one. Ooh, looks good enough. Oh, right, that's absolutely a hit. Let's see how hard you smash him. Plus one damage. Plus one damage from the prayer spell. Oh yes. Ooh. Maximum. And and you've you've added the plus one, so I don't need to do that. It's eleven damage, yeah. Uh, yep. Ooh. And that was this one here. You don't quite turn him into paste like his brother did, but No, uh, no, it's not quite that uh, not quite that violent. It was just as violent, but not quite as like turned him into jam effective. But yeah, that's another one dead. Uh, Stinky Nick has a second attack because he always has two attacks because he uses two weapons. The sneaky one. Second, while I try and emulate the two dwarves. If you emulate the first one, I'll be very impressed. With my longsword, I'll be very impressed. They're not drow. They're not drow ghouls, are they? They're no. not dead drow. No? no, you don't get a plus three. Drow ghoul. Had to check. Nice, yeah, that's a hit. Still a hit. <laughs> if for anybody new to the stream, it's uh, worth noting that Snake Nook has hated Drow since day one. And that sword he's got that's a Drow Slayer, so it's a plus one slash plus three versus Drow. We randomly rolled for what the the special enemy was, and he rolled the drow. Ha! <laughs> Ten damage on this. The, 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 this oh, good one. Man, it, these, these, we've got some serious damage rolls tonight, yeah. Um, and that was this one. That's it. The left, yeah, okay. Oh, right, okay, well that is enough to finish him off. Jeez. I successfully emulated the dwarves. You did, you successfully emulated the dwarves, actually, yeah, well done. 
No. Is, is, that, is that supposed to be a, a good I, thing? Again, a reminder tools. that all these bodies that I've moved around on the map just so people can see better, this is all here. It's all <laughs> here and here. You're all standing amongst the 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 what's left of what you guys have done to these. So bear that in mind. Yeah, well, as long the, as we don't the, need to make any more saving throws because yeah. the smell's getting worse. These are just moved out the way so we can see. These are all under your feet. Um, no more saving throws at the moment. We've got... We'll get to the end of this round and it's the end of the session anyway. We've got the ghouls. I say the ghouls left, but there's one. <laughs> He's going to come and attack. I think you me. attacked it. Oh, I no. think yeah, you, by right. mistake, made yeah, them yeah, yeah. attack on the gas turn. I have. They've went on the gas yeah. turn, so ignore that. You're right, Peter. So Charlemagne. All those ex so they shouldn't have done as much damage as they did. Too late. But that might cancel out people saving late against Too late. the ghast. Think, uh, sorry, Charlemagne's upstairs. Is it worth me changing maps? Is he doing anything just now, Tammy? No, he can't get down. He's not got space. He's, okay. Nobody shouted him yet. He's sweet. Okay, Adam Akar's next. He'll probably look, look down and kind of lick, lick Kiara's head. Adam Akar. <laughs> Trevor, what's the plan? Move and attack, is it? This seems to be the last one. Yeah. From what you can I'm going to try and hit this one. I'm stepping I'm stepping over here. See if you can emulate the dwarfs and the well, sniff neblin. I got a good blow last time. It was a good roll last time. Let's see what I can do. That was a, yeah, was a famously good one there, Snake Kinook. Well done, man. <laughs> I got big damage last time, if, oh no, it's a hit. Good enough. If you give me a Go for good it. damage roll, you're in. You're in. You're in the, this chapter with the boys for this. Oh, ooh, is it enough? I forgot to add. The, I forgot to add the plus one. It's enough. It's enough. You get to go in the chapter of the drinking song of the night <laughs> with the dwarves because you have emulated them and Snakey Nick, and you've split that one asunder with your long sword. So I'll put move them out the way now. Picture the scene, right? In fact, I'm going to move you guys out the way first. Picture the scene. It looks more like this. I'm going to put them on the map layer then, because that'll make... Uh, it looks like a fucking warning to anybody getting in our way yeah. again. If I put them on the map again, layer... we just destroyed everything. We can now... It's a shame you can't change the all, all the crosses to brown, because that's the sort of colour it would be. Yeah, we can now, we can now move around them easier, and we can be on top of them. That's more what it looks like. Well, art. It's we'll carnage. We'll make statues of corpses. 